everybody? It's Titan Fee Jack and I'm back at you again with another video. Today we're going to take a look at a sneaker. Uh, I think I, sh I made a mistake. I should have waited to buy this sneaker. And we're also going to take a look at some other items I had come in from, uh, I believe this came from Supreme. But before we get into all of that, I need a couple things from you guys. I need you to hit that like button on today's video. Do hit that thumbs up on the video today help your boy out also leave a comment down below in the comment section run them comments up for me do it that notification bell so you'll be notified every time i come back with another video and sub up to the channel if you haven't already now uh i mentioned that we uh gonna look at a sneaker that i believe i made a mistake on buying uh i paid retail for the sneaker but uh Thinking about going to get my money back and uh and wait till they go on sale if I still like the sneaker. But let's get into this other stuff. I have a couple boxes and I believe this came from the Supreme Drop uh the week I was uh out on vacation uh for my birthday. So uh my birthday was June the 16th, so yeah, Supreme taking a while to ship stuff. Yeah, I just got this in. Oh, okay. Yeah, I remember this. Uh check it out. Let's see, we got some stickers in here. We got this sticker with this young lady, Alice on here, Alice Coltrane. That one sticker. We have this one with the Supreme backwards and your traditional box logo Supreme. Uh, let's see, what is this? Oh, I think I know what this is. I believe this is that beach ball. Yeah. Oh, and it comes with a, a pump with a pin. Ooh, that takes me back, back to growing up when uh, you used to buy a basketball and used to have that. Yep, this is the red Supreme Beach Ball. Yeah, I, I hit on this manually, so uh, I'm not sure how uh, popular it was. Maybe the box didn't want to uh, get this item because I hit manually on this as the red basketball. So tell me what y'all think about that. And this must be the white one because I do remember vaguely hitting on both. Uh, so we got a couple of beach balls here. Open this box. Oh, we got a couple of different stickers in here. This is not in the other one. We got this. And they gave me another box logo. And we do have Alice Cold Train again. And, yep, y'all see the box. The manufacturer of the ball is Franklin. Franklin, they've been around some years. So we're going to try to... Uh, See if we open this and get a quick look at it. All right, it also comes with a red uh, Supreme pump with the pin in there, so you could uh, pump it up. And this is the white Supreme ball. So comment below. Let me know what is your favorite color of the Supreme Beach balls that released that week back in June. I forgot what uh, Supreme Week it was. I don't really uh, keep up with the weeks and all that with Supreme. I just got notification because I have the app downloaded on my phone. And the only reason I tried, I was actually on vacation. Had I been at work, I probably would have heard the notification or felt my phone vibrate. It would have never probably uh, bought this, but uh, I'm kind of happy I got this collector's item that I added to collection. And now we're going to take a look at this box. Kind of wish I didn't buy these. 
because I'm kind of on the fence, but let's dive into it. Let's sit it down. Got my box cutter again. Gone. Carefully open the box. That way we don't cut our fingers or the contents on the inside. I think I know what this sneaker is going to be. Because, yeah, I, I know this came from Foot Locker. Shout out to Foot Locker. Uh, I got this from them. Oh, yeah. Because I hit on this. And I didn't enter any head starts. Comment below if you guys are uh, still using head starts uh, for Foot Locker if you have any points. The box is empty. Let's set this aside. And here is the shoe box. Can anyone guess what's inside? This could be uh, Jordan 13, Jordan 7, 8. A lot of different Jordans come in this box. And here's a closer look at the box tag if the camera would focus there. And I'm going to read it. It says Air Jordan 13 Retro and the color is Doom Red, Red Doom, and Terra Blush. This is a size 14. I believe the price on these was 200 or 210 US dollars. I'm looking inside for a lot stamp. However, I do not see one. And we do have the tissue smooth on one side, a little rough on the other. And here we go, guys. We have these Air Jordan 13s. Let's get them out of the box. Uh, Nike has a way of uh, not giving us exactly what we want. They put a twist to it. A few people in the sneaker community uh, probably would like to get the original of these these were uh inspired by the ben 13s but they gave us these if you know what the ben 13s were that was a pretty nice shoe really quality materials and the colors was a little different than this right here but they gave us this instead we don't even have the wrong number 13 behind here so i mean this sneaker should be on sale shortly, so I'm going to uh, see if I can get some money back for these. Uh, if I can't, I'm probably going to return these to the store because this is not a shoe that I need to pay full price for. I still have big fish to fry. I need to get those Olympic Paris 4s, the all gray pair with the different shades of gray. So, uh... You guys, let me know. Are y'all waiting on these to go to go on sale, or y'all just gonna not mess with these at all? Leave that in the comment below, and I'm gonna go ahead and end the video off. Like I always tell you guys, if you help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker because you never know when it will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack signing out.